everyone. So I unboxed my second pull up here who's called Akemi and um, she's by Cheryl Designs and this is the second version of Akemi. Um, I at first became interested in pull up seeing pictures of the first Akemi who's kind of a pink blue theme and has one pink eye and one blue eye. Um, but then I kind of thought her hairstyle is a little bit of a layered look that's kind of a little bit more thin towards the ends. And I really like this girl that she has so much more fuller hair. So this ended up being the girl that I chose. And here you can see that um, her doll stand, she actually did not fit on my shelf, which is about like 13 and a quarter inches tall. So I ended up just sitting her on my stand with um, my other pull-up, Noanne. And so, yeah, so Noanne I got from Pull-Up Style in it based in the U.S. And um, Akemi I got from Amazon Japan. So I learned that even in the U.S. you can set up an Amazon Japan account and they have like an English version where you can search in English. But you still have to like Google search yen to dollars no much how know how much you're spending and it's good to like look at a website like pull up style or you can look at um groove's website to see how much they're selling dolls for to make sure that you're getting a good deal um like on the pull up style site they still have dolls from like 2000 some dolls from different years so it's still possible to get like a slightly older release for a good price. So I happen to be able to get her for like $115, including shipping. Um, but as soon as I ordered her, it seemed like they relisted her as more expensive and she was sold directly from Amazon ja Japan. It wasn't from like a third party seller. So I don't know if like it's not selling well, they bring down the price and as soon as it sells, they put up the price. <laughs> I don't know what their system is. So I was really happy that I got her for such a good deal. So a little bit that I'm learning about these girls is so they stain their clothes, especially if they're like black, they can stain easily. So they come with lots of plastic on them. So she had plastic all over her torso to um, protect her against her shirt. So I ended up taking off the plastic because then you can see her arms and hands and I want to have full range of motion. I'm planning that both these girls, I really like their stock outfits and I love how pull up they come with like a whole makeup and style that all goes together to make a cohesive artistic design. So, um, so this girl, I took off her plastic, but um, one thing, since she's sitting, I was realizing that this black could maybe stain her thighs because um, she's meant to be standing, but sitting, it could stain her thighs. And what's really cool is um, this outfit is like kind of multiple pieces, but you want to be gentle with it because, you know, I think that um, kind of pull-up clothes can sometimes be like not fastened together so well that you have to be delicate. So um, this skirt is actually um, one layer and you can see it like, um, you can see that this is a tutu underneath. So there's kind of this hole here and there's chains attached. So you could take off this layer and just have like a tutu and under the tutu is like really short shorts. And you can see like, so she has two layers of long socks. These are like thigh high socks and on top of them are knee high socks. There wasn't plastic on her legs. So I'm hoping that maybe these thigh highs won't stain her. If they do, that's okay. She, if I ever redressed her, she could just um, wear things, knee high, thigh high socks, stockings, that's okay. I mostly wanted if I ever want to take off this skirt and have her have the tutu that her thighs wouldn't be stained. So I put her on a little piece of, um, this is kind of like a thick paper material. So then that way the black doesn't stain her thighs. That was something that I came up with. Um, but yeah, here's her whole ensemble. And so, um, yes, yeah, so one of the reasons I wanted this girl was I was really happy with her wig. So one thing to explain is that these hair pieces are clip-ins. 
they aren't like sewn as part of the wig and so they're not perfect. So this is like, you know, you have to be okay with slight imperfections. So these are actually clips that have like a wig on top of them that clip into our hair. So you can see a little bit the netting through the hair. So it's not perfect. And if you look from the top, you can see um, kind of the holes here. I still absolutely adore it. You can also see my girl, like her wig, like here you can see a little bit of the wig cap, but I don't mind. I think she's still amazing. Whoops, I just knocked her down. Poor thing, here, let me reset her up. Her back up. <laughs> so yeah, I have her propped here sitting on this shelf and I kind of have her holding herself up with her arms and hands behind her. So what's cool with these girls, like I, this is my second, so I'm just learning about them, is so they don't have a neck tilt, but they have, a um a chest tilt that they can tilt a little bit to the sides and they have you know the elbow joint knee jo <laughs> knee elbow oh, this not the elbow okay shoulder elbow wrist um at the hip the knee and the ankle um so they have lots of range of motion one thing to mention that I'm learning is that their body is supposed to be pretty delicate. So you want to make sure when they arrive that their joints work and they don't have like a broken elbow or anything. Um, ordering from pull-up style, you have to tell them within three days that there's a problem. And then I think they'll send you the right body part or a new body or whatever to fix it with instructions. Um, Amazon Japan obviously has a better return policy, but it's not fun returning to Japan. I've not had to do that yet. Um, so, you know, so it's being cautious with their bodies. One thing that I've learned that's great is from um, pull-up style and probably if you just order from Groove is that they sell blank bodies so that you can also get so the head and the body with without like eye chips without um a wig without like pain and clothes but you know if something happened to the body you could replace it and i think like the body sell for like 35 dollars and you like pay for shipping so it that's just good to know so here let's go ahead and look so yeah, so I put, so, um, so without these hair clips in, she just has this straight hair. And I also put in, this is a hair clip that she comes with. She also comes with headphones, which I'll show you later. Um, for me, kind of the headphones as well on top. It's cute, but it's a lot. And I think she looks great without it. Um, so this is her shirt, which is a separate piece, and it has um, a skeleton head on it, a skull, and she has this belt that's a little loose. It's not as tight as I expected, and this outer skirt, the tutu shorts, socks, and um, here's her shoes, which are really fun with, you know, working laces, and... Um, so then going ahead and looking at her face up, this is just this really gorgeous artistic style. I'm noticing her eyelash kind of is a little funky down there, but that's okay. So here, I just love this multicolor eyes. This is just really what drew me to a Kemi. And um, you can also see she has this very artistic lip style with this kind of this liner, but it's not like just how we would do lip liner. It's just kind of a very, it's this very interesting style. And she has that same type of liner look around her eyes. She has painted on these bottom lashes. There's even kind of like this um, light pink in the corner of her eye that kind of gives this sense of realism, how you kind of have your tear ducts. And she has these lines um, above her eye. It's kind of like the eyelid crease to kind of exaggerate her upper eyelids and here we can see let me move her hair to the side so you can see her eyebrows which is this very very interesting design um she has just such a unique look 
and um, she has like a lot of shadowing and color to her face. You can see that she has some shadowing here on her cheeks that's kind of like this tannish orange kind of color and then she has some shadowing over her nose which I think is really cute and there's some shadowing here in the corners of her eyes so it adds just a lot of contour to her face and so she's just so beautiful um, versus here you can see this is no M and you can see she doesn't have all that shadowing on her face so they have a very different look so that's one thing I'm really appreciating about Polip is that um, is that they can have such unique looks. Like I like all my dolls to have their own style and look very different and not like kind of replicas of the same thing. So I also really like kind of, you know, these being my first pull-ups, I kind of fell for them that I liked that they actually have these more modern, cute styles. And so I like both these girls. I feel like it's kind of almost like, cute meets goth type look. You know, I don't know the exact terms for the different fashion influences. I think um, Pulip is a South Korean company, but they are they heavily make dolls. They're supposed to be very Japanese with Japanese influences. She's from a Japanese designer, Travaz Tokyo. And um, Akemi is a Japanese name and I think the story behind the first Akemi doll was that um, Cheryl designs that she was visiting Japan and she came up with the whole concept for Akemi based on her travels and what she experienced of fashion in Japan. So um, I just think it's really unique and interesting. Um, so I just wanted to share this gorgeous girl with you. Oh, so showing you guys, so this is the bag she comes with. So it's really cool. She comes with this little bag accessory. And so this is a working bag. It has Velcro and um, it's really cute. You can see her bag, really cute and colorful. Let's see, is this, yeah, there's even a pocket in the back here. That's a pocket too. So this is a really nice little bag that she comes with. So I like that as decoration. So I said I would also show you guys, um, this is her headphones, which she can wear and looks really cute on her. And um, this over here is her card. So you can see here, it's a little hard getting those few strands forward in front of the headphones to make it look like this, but that's what it looks like with the headphones on. So let me go ahead and show you guys her eye chips and how they work. So there's like a mechanism in the back where you can move her eyes from side to side. So she's looking at this side and the other side. Let's Kind of get it in the middle. Uh, here, a little tricky with one hand. There you go. So here, her eyes are looking in the middle. I just really love this. It brings them to life, and there's so much you can do in photography of making them look in whatever direction you want. And um, I have another video on Noanne and kind of comparing her to other similar dolls like Blythe. And here, then these being kind of newer models, they can half close their eyes. So here's her eyes half closed. And so as not all pull-ups, their eyelids aren't all painted, but hers are, and you can see that they're black. Um, so here you can see her eyelids, really cute look. And then you can have her eyelids fully closed. Let's see other one to close. Oh, there we go. Okay. And so then you can see this is her kind of sleepy eye closed look. And she's just really pretty. And yeah, you can see her eye shadow um, really matches the color of her eyes that she has this green above her eyes and black lashes, which work really well. So I'll go ahead and take a picture of these two girls together at the end of the video. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to hearing from you in the comments.
Bye.